Hello and welcome back. This is no longer Speed's empty chair. It's the Halo 5 Pro Series 5K Championship. I'm Sherzy One, joined by Mr. Wes Clutch. We've got the winner's finals up now. It's Cartel up against Sauce. And this might be, Wes, the closest we've seen a team to getting to Cartel's level. How much are we really saying with that statement, though? Cartel, um, from what I've seen, hasn't had a ton of competition um, in regards to the, the level of skill and play that they bring. So, yes, I think Sauce is playing well. Yes, they just looked pretty good in their last series, but Cartel's a different monster, man. So it's going to be tough for them uh, to have success, any kind of success against Cartel. Yeah, the best of five. We've got Strongholds on Empire, Slayer on Colosseum, Oddball, Echelon, of course, there's an Oddball. CTF Truth, if we need it, bearing, car bearing Cartel don't just you know roll these boys slayer on regret then is game five if we need it please say we need it um jimbo shady legend slg it's been the cartel cup for so long that we just want to see an underdog win one time wes yeah you can you can want to see it as much as possible but and unless they make the plays and and earn that win themselves then we're going to be watching the cartel show for a little bit longer um that's where my guess is going we're going into empire strongholds is game one and we're going to see how well Cartel is playing today because it's the first time on stream we'll be checking them out. Seek it, the first man we're on board with at the moment as he tries to contest this overshield. He is taken down by Lunny, unfortunately, though. And that means he will be heading to the respawn screen. Now on with Mista instead, who also, of course, the cast of the commentator, he also falls. And now Shady, bottom tower. Looks as though the strongholds are starting to go in favor of Sauce for a moment. The Shady tries to get himself involved, tries to make, maybe change that if he possibly can. Strongholds all traded out. It's even Stevens and there's a slobber knocker inside pit. Who's going to come out on top as the Shady gets taken down to no shields and ultimately is taken down then as well. So at the early stages, Sauce having a really, really good start. But Shabby Dagger with the camouflage still has some life left in it as well. And Stronghold goes in their favor. Two to one, early scoring goals for Sauce. That's a great start, probably the best possible start Sauce could have had, Wes, if you had given it to him at the start. Yeah, uh, as good as a start as you're going to want, right? You, you're in the lead right now, and it's just a matter of how long can they do this? Can they keep this kind of momentum up? They just lose two players right there in Jimbo, and the boys already transfer over bottom middle. Mista goes down as well. Two more players. They spot the overextension to red, so they're going to be able to contest this base. Love this by Jimbo to get into red, somehow stay alive. Does he keep his shields? Absolutely. Uh, plays his life perfectly. Legend picks up the double and the rotation back in. Trip cap in effect. And when you thought that Sauce had a hot start, you thought wrong because right now we're watching Cartel what they do best, and that's dominate. Sauce have just been taken off the hob. That, it's starting to cool down now, and it was far from done as two strongholds, maybe I make that three strongholds, went in favor of Cartel. They're a little bit greedy, Arkel, Cartel. They didn't just want the two to start scoring. They took all three, took the lead, and again, they're starting to take all three, going port to port, just really rinsing these guys off spawn. And what Sauce need to do here is catch their tail before this spirals into all out control. Yeah, they need to stay alive and get some slays, because right now this trip cap is a major problem. Going for the bottom mid stronghold, Probably not the greatest strat, but it does look like they may be able to transfer it over. Camo is up, but Jimbo with a nice nade is going to take down the barrels and force that player to oh. get killed. Shady with a huge double, just absolutely going off. I love watching this kid play. He's got some real individual skill. Love the aggression here as he hits three shots and a melee. Count him, boys. It's Shady putting all the pressure on over at red, and the trip cap still in effect. It's 55 to 7. The aftermath after Shady's plays, 59 points to 7. I'm not even sure that camouflage did get burned in the end, but it, it matters not as Shady's on a killing spree. It's the confidence these players play at, Wes. The speed, the pace, but they always rely on each other, and they just know that if they get themselves into a position, their teammate will be there to support. Yeah, you can see the difference in speed right now. Shady playing so fast, trying to find information, trying to find the next player to take down, spots this player outside. There is a teammate of his that just spawned, so he's got to play his life. Doesn't find the second player, but does the job his team needs him to do. It's 81 to 7 right now, and we're not even past the second pair of power-ups. Cartel really just dictating the pace of the game, the tempo really set by them as they just soar all over the map, putting you under 
um, just unreal amounts of pressure as Jimbo and Legend get, get a couple of kills. Shabby Dagger, the last of those two to fall. Mista also dies. How do they make these players look so average all of the time? They're just so individually skilled themselves, right? And the aggression is together. You're seeing all of Cartel swarm. You're seeing them all fly across the map to try and compete with these strongholds. Mista, with a little bit of a troll, understanding that this game is going to be all she wrote. 100 to 7. So the early start that we saw from Sauce was the only start that we saw from Sauce. It was the only score that we saw the entire game from Sauce. And they literally ran away with it in the hands of Cartel. Looking at the kills, Wes, Shady has had an impressive game. 15 kills, 3 assists, and only 3 deaths. What a performance from him. And of course, we've seen a little bit of him over towards that tower side, getting that killing spree, going from base to base, just wreaking absolute havoc. Shady, what a performance from you. And if you're sauce, is there anything you can take out of that game? If any sort of semblance of anything you can take, Wes, to maybe carry you into the Slayer game? No, if you're sauce, you want to forget that game. You want that game to never have happened and you just have been DQ'd in game one for some odd <laughs> reason because there's no way you have confidence after the 100 to 7 performance, right? Shady was turning two every spawn, just about. I mean, he literally actually turned five every spawn, going 15 and three, but it felt like he was able to win 1v2s. You cannot have that things happening. If you want to stay in these games, stay in this series, potentially find yourself in the finals. Cartel look as though they have some plans for after this pro series. They're trying to get it done as quick as possible. And we're going into Slayer on Coliseum. It's all about the sniper rifle. We've seen how Lonnie and Precision I have been playing with the sniper rifle. Shabby Dagger last week went off, got some clutch, clutch kills against Gregana Vaccine. But they need to pick up these plays now, Wes. There's not, you cannot start cold against Cartel. You're coming off a heater against in that previous series where you've done the best you possibly could. You sent Poker Stars home. But up against Cartel, like you said before, they're a different beast. The difficult thing about it is the pace that Cartel play at. They don't give you a lot of room to think about what you're doing wrong, right? You're just kind of getting stomped, and it doesn't feel like you can do a lot to stop the momentum that they've already built. You have to figure out ways to create space on the map in order for that not to be the case, in order to have time to think. Right now, they, they've got three kills and are in the lead. They've got the snipe as well, so the start they need once again We'll see how that plays out here while you're in this early game. The thing Cartel seem to do, the best analogy I can possibly give is you feel like you're drowning, you're underwater, and all you really want to do is breathe. But Cartel just do not let the foot off the gas. They continue to pile water on top of you, and you just keep on drowning until you are all out of life and you're all out of time. You've got no more time left in the series. You're, the series is already over. It's done and dusted. For Shady gets a kill. No, Shady gets taken down by Precision Knight. Seven kills to seven. Precision Knight has that sniper rifle. Missed it. Don't think we didn't see that in the kill feed. You've fallen off the map, and that's no good for you. But Precision Knight has fallen with the sniper rifle, and now it's in control of Legend as he has a sniper rifle. So we maybe head over there and ignore Shabby Dagger for a moment. He's got two bullets left in the magazine, has Legend. Not known for his sniper rifle ability, but he's got two bullets left to play with. Let's see what he can do here towards this blue cave area. Yeah. He's going to be aggressive, and I love this push by him, right? He's got the information that there's a player pushing bottom blue, um, and gives that to his teammate Jimbo, finishes that kill. Still two bullets in the chamber. Does he know that there's a player sneaking up to his left? That player actually went up the ramp, so now the flank. I love the aggression. Unfortunately, he eats the nade and pays for it with his life. 13 to 10 now. You see Sauce much closer in this game, too, than they ever were in game one. Well, it's something we see with sniper rifles and their, their styles of play. You have that one sniper rifle, sniper player who will plant his feet and try and you know watch some angles and find some face. But we see other players who use a sniper rifle. And, and like you've seen with Legend there, a lot more aggressive with it. They, they push the envelope. They push in and try to land body shots and use it as, a, as an entry weapon as opposed to anything else. What is, your, what is your, your, your stance on the different styles and which one do you prefer? Yeah, I think it's more fun to watch the Renegade style where you're just like no scoping everything, thrusting at people. Um, it's it's something that you see a lot more in Halo 5 than you ever saw in any other game. I think it was with, with the aim assist that's on the sniper in Halo 5. Yeah. Makes that much more uh, of a realistic possibility and makes it easier for players to hit those no scopes up close and whatnot. So I actually like the aggression because if you can get an early pick or even a body shot, that can create the opening your team needs to create that push. And now you're with your team, you're able to apply aggression like as a team of four and not one sitting back as the other three are attempting to push.
something I also like from Cartel's playstyle wins is they're not afraid to jump in and, and sacrifice themselves as it means that if the rest of their team can trade around them. You won't see them, you know, trying to play their live as much as maybe you see other people doing. Because of that, they're a factor on the map much more of the time because they work, they go in, they make they get entry damage, and the rest of their teams then follow up and get the kills. So even though they might he might the entry player might lose his life, they get three, four kills because of it. So it's an interesting style that we see, and maybe we need to see the rest of these teams catch on. Absolutely. It's a five kill game, however, and we see Lonnie had the snipe. Unfortunately, he just got taken down. So Chappie Daggers able to pick that up right here. Play his life back, Sneak. He's got to do some serious work to bring his team not only back in this, but potentially get a lead. A snipe on a Jimbo could be a good start, but he loses a teammate. So the kill immediately traded out. Fortunately, though, missed a one in the kill feed. He gets some pressure from top here, and it's a perfect kill. And all of a sudden, sick, Sicko with the new snipe. Out of the hands of Shabby Dagger, not enough damage done to create the divide that's in the score. Shabby Dagger did find the face that was hanging off the neck of Jimbo up towards that top rocket, but really not able to put any more damage down. Sniper rifle now in the hands of Sika. I believe he knows that player spawning behind him. Three bullets left in the magazine as well. Finds that body shot. Mm. That's what we were talking about, Wes. Finds the body, gets the kill, gets himself out of dodge. And because of that, his team now gets to compete for Rockets in a 4v3 situation. So Jimbo finds two. The rest of the boys have the angles. They got information on the fourth player, and that's a clean wipe because Sicko was able to get that kill so quickly. They were able to compete with better angles and more numbers. That's the textbook Halo 5. All of that time has gone by. Sika started to play with three shots. He now has two shots left. They've gotten four kills in the meantime. That is how impressive this cartel team is. They've gotten the rockets all secured. Lunny actually has the rockets now as he finds the body of Sika on that player across the map. Shady does fall to Lunny's rockets. That's unfortunate for him. But they're off by such a big margin now that it maybe matters not. Sika about to get himself ninja. Just about though. Hangs on. Clings on to life. Sika still has one bullet left in the chamber. But three members of the boys on sauce fall. Precision Knight, the last man alive. They think he's in Blue Cave. He is not. He's over on the flag stand instead. But we're seeing Cartel just relentless pressure, pressure all the time. It's almost a level of disrespect at some point, but that's just yep. how Halo 5 played at the highest level, right? Like, this is what we saw Splice do to have so much success in 2018. We see that even transition now into the European scene from Cartel. They've caught on to the successful strategies to always apply pressure, force and play your numbers, and force those split spawns. And that's why they have this lead all of a sudden. Like, it was a five kill game. Now it's a 12 kill game, and this game does not look like it could ever go in the hands of Sauce. If you're Sauce, Wes, you've only got two lives left to play with, and you need to play. I don't even think Perfect Halo will be good enough now, as Miss is going to fall on grass. No doubt he is. Sika gets that kill. There's the final kill before we can even switch over to anybody. Sika takes down Lunny. That's two maps in favor of Cartel already in this series. Strongholds on Empire Slayer on Coliseum. Very quick, very easy. If you have to say Jimbo, Shady, Legend, and Sika putting on a clinic specifically. Let's touch upon Sika there, where 16 kills, 12 assists, seven deaths. In formidable. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody on this team is is gunning. Sika was just the one doing it this game. We saw it from Shady last time around, but I mean, this cartel roster is a very scary roster from top to bottom. Legend can pop off. We know what Jimbo's done throughout his history. Shady and Sika leading the way so far throughout this series. When this team is playing this well, they're going to be almost near impossible to beat. They're going to be playing lights out. And something that was announced by Tashi last night is actually we're going to have a LAN at the end of the year. And what how impressive would it be if we got to see this cartel perform in a, in a LAN scenario where we're going to see, of course, it'll be Halo Infinite. No doubt how good could Cartel possibly be if they pick that game up and start as they're leaving off here. We're going to jump into Oddball on Echelon now. But the way the series has gone so far, this looks as though it's going to be all playing sailing and a clean wipe here, Wes. Yeah, don't be surprised if Sika goes the entire day without... Or, sorry, if Cartel go the entire day without dropping a game. Because right now, it doesn't look like they have any intention on letting any of these games be close. Wouldn't be surprised if this game, this game three goes in the favor of the similar story of games one and two, which were absolute blowouts. Um, if you're sauce, you need to find some momentum before getting knocked into the loser's bracket because you need that confidence for the loser's finals. Maybe taking a game could be a big step in that direction. And something as well, Wes, is that it just shows the professionalism of this cartel roster. 
Because you could very easily, being in that situation, nobody's close to you. Every now and again, let your performances dip. Drop off maybe a, a tad and allow someone to close that door and close that gap a little bit. But they never seem to do so. Every time we see a game, they're, they're either staking, they're, they're winning by three caps to zero. We're, we're barely seeing a series at all and they're winning the game. And just like that, two members of Sauce go down. And no doubt the ball is going to be in the hands of Cartel again. And here we go. Precision Knight did win the battle for Rockets though. So it might be up to him to try and break this setup. They spot this player. Top left, he gets taken down. Jimbo with the perfect kill in the kill feed. Ball time already in the favor of Cartel. Precision Knight with a great flank. Unfortunately, the Rocket only finds one kill and he jumps off the map. So it's just a trade. The damage is impactful, however. So potentially the rest of his team can capitalize here. Shabby. The damage has been done. Up. Shabby forced to back up as a member of his team falls. Legend with camouflage a little bit overzealous there with the camouflage can he come out on top that is the look at that wes the the, per, the pressure that that the respect that he, that legend commanded there shabby dagger back down although he cracked his shields he, he had more way far more shields than legend did but still decided he wasn't gonna take that fight on what does that st say to you just a smart play right like that's what these cartel players that's the level of halo that they're playing at they play at a high level Looks like their setup is going to be broken as two players go down here and make it three in the last guy alive. Plays the ball. Legend, that's a great play. Finds a kill somehow on a precision knife for the killing spree. And finally, we see Sauce on the board. But for how long? Because the longer that they are forced to try and hold this setup against a 3v4 situation where it's guns up, um, it's going to be very difficult for them to withstand the onslaught of this cartel roster. Fortunately, they did just get around to Sway, so they are going to be able to tie this game up, potentially. We've seen two members of the cartel come off the respawn, but then Shady got taken down before they could make any substantial push. Jimbo and Seeker, though, get a couple of kills, and that's why we're seeing Mr. get prepared to play the ball, which he does around that Pelican area. Lonely now going for that reset on the ball, maybe trying to be a factor of this camouflage to ensure that the cartel can't secure it. Gets that kill onto Jimbo. Nice from him. Pre nades that camouflage, but it's not going to be enough. It's going to go into Legend's chest, and that's where we should head immediately. Enemy has the ball. Legend going to try and hunt this ball carrier down, but needs to be careful because you don't want to just trade your life one to one with the ball. That might be the case if Precision Knight's able to land good shots. Unfortunately, Precision Knight hits the lift, and because of it, Legend gets free damage onto his teammates. Multiple kills come in their favor. Three dead now. Four team sauce legend and the ball are going to rotate up top and this is perfect rotation for them they're going to force spawn over inside the base and i like this aggression by legend it's it's consistent no matter what the game type no matter what the setup you're seeing cartel be aggressive yeah play style never changes and that is why it's so successful if it's not broke don't fix that legend secures that killing spree on to miss the shabby dagger caught unaware by jimbo and the boys jimbo gets the kill with the help of legend precision knight in a 1v1 gets taken down it's gonna be a trade but the camouflage has already done enough damage the damage had been done shady's got the ball no doubt he's got plans to play if he gets under some sort of pressure Ops to drop down towards bottom middle and bottom lift area like this from him keeping the guys on sauce guessing two members down for sauce at the minute missed it and Lonely are already in the respawn screens precision knight tries to make that ball play which it does Great play from him, but the damage has already been done. The Shady has already secured 70 points for his team as opposed to Sauce's 31. But Sauce have kept it tight, kept it close for such a long time, but still, you think you have the better of this team, you're still down by 40 or 30 points. Look at the confidence by Shady to challenge just everything in sight. Unfortunately, he loses his life because he can't out-pistol two players in a row, but you can just see how much confidence he's playing with and how effective and how much damage he's putting in. Shady's one of the best to do it right now in EU, and he's showing you just why right here. You do have camo coming up here very shortly. It's 70 to 48, and Jimbo making his way towards this Pelican. It's a little help from Legend and a rocket kill here, and they're going to reset the map and potentially get this power up, be able to hold this setup even stronger. Jimbo gets by with a little help from his friend, secures that camouflage as well. Ball's already starting to rotate towards the camo player. I like this. It's Jimbo has the plasma pistol. Look at the EMP. Anybody he can. Precision Knight fires that flare towards him. Takes him down to no shields. But unfortunately, Jimbo does fall. But three members of Sauce fall because of it. So it's a fantastic trade if you are a cartel fan. But ball now in control. Spawns where favorable for Sauce. They have the ball. Start to close that gap with every second that passes by. Seeker with a couple of shots. 
Mista gets a kill in the feed. Legend gets a kill. Precision Knight gets a five on the Sika as well. Everybody's falling left, right, and center. Bodies are starting to hit the floor. So far, I'd, I'd have to say Sauce is playing the best game of their series, right? Yeah. Only down by about 20 points right now. Unfortunately, they've lost a little bit of their one-on-ones that could have dictated some of these outcomes. But Mista, with a big kill on the Legend right there, is going to keep the numbers in his team's favor for a brief second. Unfortunately, Lenny goes down, Mista loses his life, and now all of a sudden, Jimbo and Sika have reversed that story completely, and their team now scoring. Cartel extending the lead, what is now 90-67. to 67. Watching Shady, he just never stands still, Wes. His head's always in a swivel. He's looking for the next target. He's looking for his next objective. He now picks up the ball, starts to score some points. Wes decides to drop it down and maybe help his teammate, which he does. Legend gets with a combination of him and Shady take down that player. Legend does fall. Ball gets played maybe a little bit prematurely. No, it doesn't. It actually stand on the map. So great play from him. They're going to continue to rack up some scoring here. Our Shady out towards this pipes area. They've got Donut in full control and a full setup, and that's scary for Sauce. Just 50 points needed for them to end this game, in this series, and go to the finals right now. Cartel absolutely dominating. They got the setup they want. Unfortunately, Precision Knight with Rockets is going to try and make the push to try and break this up. Two go down. You're going to see a play ball on the side of Shady, and with it, three dead, four dead for Cartel. Is this the moment that they needed? Camo just came up as well, so if they're able to win this battle for Camo, huge shots on the Jimbo are going to allow Precision Knight to get the double, secure the camo and potentially this is the swing that sauce needs precision knight with the rockets punched a hole in the cartel defense things fell stuff happened precision knight now has camouflage as well all in the one life he's got rocket he's got he had the rockets which helped him secure camouflage helped him secure some ball time as well for his team now in a 1v2 at the moment and somehow just like that that player who's no shields who had no right to live seek it and managed to evade the attentions of Precision Knight, if only for a moment, as he was ultimately taken down, down. There goes the camouflage and not really able to get what he wanted out of it. The tough part about it was is they kept spawning Pelican, so they always had an angle to deny the ball. They weren't able to get any ball time throughout any of those slays. The camo was useful, but not enough to get the job done. And with it, you see Sika pick up a kill. The score, 15 seconds needed for Cartel to end this game, win this series 3-0, and it looks like Shabby struggling to finish this kill could potentially be the last one that he sees in winner's bracket. Shabby Dagger, that's pretty much his series in a nutshell. Struggling to get the kill, struggling to get a grip to the series. There we go, 150 points to 74. Sika gets a kill on the Precision Knight to end it as well. It's all done and dusted, 3-0 to zero. the Cartel. They head on over to the Grand Finals, and they now await to see what way it all shakes out. Now we're going to see Sauce drop down to the losers' finals. So it's going to be all pretty tasty. But you have to say, Wes, no matter what happens, come what may, when we get the grand finals time, it's no doubt going to be the Cartel Cup once again. It's looking like it once again. Cartel just already showing their dominance in this tournament. I mean, they pushed themselves to the finals in a very, very convincing fashion. 3-0. You got to ask yourself, is there anybody in Europe that can compete with these guys right now? Cartel is showing us the answer is no. And so we see Sauce bow down, drop down to the losers finals. No doubt we're going to see what way that all shakes out when we come back after this short break. We're going to see you very shortly. Don't go anywhere.